and welcome to the Antelope Island Bison Roundup. Last week we used horseback riders to round up all of our bison, around 700 of them. The island can support about 500 bison over the winter. We don't give them any food or water when they're out on the range. Uh, so just based on the natural vegetation that grows here and the fresh water that comes from the springs, we can support around 500 animals. So we bring them all into this corral system behind me and um, send them through this working process and check their health. We uh, check to see if anybody's pregnant so that we can forecast for future years. We vaccinate the babies and the biology crew selects a couple hundred of the bison to sell at auction, which will happen next week. Uh, and that will bring that herd size from about 700 back down to the manageable level of the 500 um, that the island can sustain. So let's go for a tour. This is the top side of our working operation. These are the tri-lanes. Crews are using these steel lanes to separate the bison from a large group of animals, that's 700 that we talked about earlier, into smaller and smaller, more workable group sizes. This is done through a series of gates and men and women running on foot behind the bison to send them down the lanes to the next step. We are about midway through the lanes now. This is the final alleyway that the smallest group of animals will go through. We use this tractor with this big fence in the front of it to encourage the bison to go down this lane and into the tub, which we'll see at the next stop. We call this machine the turkey catcher. We use those fence panels to keep our workers safe in case a bison decides to turn around and go the other direction. Once the bison are moved into this round area called the tub, the gate closes down on them and it squeezes them into a smaller and smaller pie piece area so that one bison at a time goes through to the next phase. It's these folks' jobs to make sure that only one bison goes through at a time and that they're facing forward. This is going to be important later. Uh, the bison will advance one at a time with help from these gates until the end where they are weighed. When the bison leaves the scale, they will be secured in a hydraulic squeeze chute. This will secure the bison's body and neck, preventing it from injuring itself by thrashing. A worker will then place a clamp on the bison's nose to secure the head, keeping our worker safe. At this stage, a vet checks females for pregnancy, vaccinations are administered, RFID tags are scanned, and our database is updated. New calves will receive a new RFID tag, which we can scan in future roundups so that we can track that bison's history throughout its life on the island. This is also the time that our biologists will decide if an animal stays on the island or if it will be sold at auction next week. As I mentioned earlier, Antelope Island's carrying capacity is 500 bison. Our herd is so healthy that we must sell approximately 200 bison every year. We are constantly making adjustments and improvements to this process in order to make it more and more efficient and safe for everyone, especially the bison. Currently, this process takes about two minutes per animal. Once we finish with the animal, the workers will clear the area and the bison is released. The bison that will stay on the island will be held in a large pasture for several days so that they can rejoin their own herd. The island's bison are comprised of around three different herds. It's a lot easier for them to find their own group in this smaller area than it is on the 28,000 acre island. Thank you for joining us for a tour of the Antelope Island Bison Working. I hope you enjoy your visit to the island.